going on guys? It is KevDog20 here, and today I'm going to be going over this amazing app called Animation Throwdown. Full name is Animation Throwdown, the collectible card game. Now, this app is really cool. <coughs> it's been around for, I don't even know how many years, just a long, long time. I actually posted a video on this app right around the time it first came out, years ago. And I figure, because that video is so old and so many changes have happened, I want to make this one to see how it does on YouTube and also, you know, let people know about this, this game who don't know about it. So what it is, is it's a card game, okay? But it's a very fun card game. And it has all the different shows in it that everybody loves and enjoys. So it has Family Guy, American Dad, Futurama, King of the Hill, and Bob's Burgers. Literally all the top shows that are out there uh, in this type of, uh, uh, what do you call it, genre. Uh, technically, I guess, if, if you want to go off the genre, I guess they could have had it, um, uh, what's it called, South Park too. But yeah, I mean... For what it has, it's crazy. I mean, you see the Stewie right there, and, and uh, there's an America Dad character, um, Roger. Uh, and then down here, you see Stan and Leela. You know, it, it's just really, really neat. So I want to basically teach you guys what this app is, how it works, and uh, yeah, I anticipate this being at least a two-part video because there's a lot to go over. So we're going to start with, um, I guess, the cards. And I will teach you guys the abilities, because there's a lot of abilities to go over. Um, so, I'm trying to think about what's the best way to do this. <sighs> Maybe filter? Um, I feel like, you see, these are all the skills down here. Okay? So, like this. These, these are all skills. So, it's kind of tough to go over them like this um but i guess i have to so i'm just going to click on a skill and i'll tell you what it does and you'll understand it better in like the the segment where i'm playing okay so obviously you have america dad bob's burgers family guy futurama king of the hill okay i did just go over that and then you have types of cards like a trait and and you know, rarity kinds. So at the top, we'll, we'll just do top down. At the top here, this yellow card is a, a mythic, I think it's called, or mystic, mythic, I don't know. Uh, let's see, what are they? Mythic? Mythic. That's what the, the term is called. So that's the rarest, most powerful card in the game. When you're first starting out, it's going to take you a very long time to get your first one of those. And I'm going to go over how you get cards and all that stuff too. I'm just teaching you here first. Um, then you have legendary, which is purple. Step down from that is blue, which I think, what do they call blue? Um, is that a common? No, that's epic. Okay, blue is epic. I don't even use these cards, so it's like, you know, I don't remember the names. So blue is epic. Green, I think, is uncommon. I don't have any green cards right now. And then, um, it should be uh, gray is common. So you'll probably start off, let's see, rare, rares. Okay, so it says green is rares, and then, and then gray is commons. So when you start off, you know, you might just start with the commons and the rares and work your way up. But it's not that hard to get um, epic cards and even legendary. The really tough ones are these mythic cards, okay? They're super rare. I've been playing for years, and I currently have six. Um, I could have eight, but I'll explain that. Anyway, uh, next we'll go down to the traits, okay? I know that this is going to seem like a lot of information, but it's not complicated at all once you start playing the game. It becomes very simple. So these traits right here. <clears throat> you have drunk. Uh, I think this is school. Pills or medical or whatever you want to call that. The lightning one, I actually am not familiar with at all. I don't even know if I have a single... Yeah, that must be a brand new one that's just been added because I've never seen that before. Um, 
I guess I should note that I played this game for like a really long time and then I did stop playing it for like a year or so and then I came back so I don't know if I missed lightning and they just never brought it back again or what and but I, I my guess is it's a totally new thing that just came out but okay next is money uh, traits then you have sports art uh, the gun trait yeah that's that's my best cards and yeah that's my favorite one so just figured I'd let you guys know um, in my opinion the gun ones the best or at least one of the best uh, then I think this one's called co uh, cosmetic or disguises I believe uh, the ninja cards um, the musical section which is like the harp here uh, I don't remember the name of the bunny rabbit cards um, let me what do they call this animal I think that'd be easy to remember I, yeah, I don't I don't really use animal very often and then this one is toys I believe so yeah, there are all these different sections, and basically, um, whoop, did I, okay, I didn't hit okay, apply, alright, so basically, every card has a different trait, unless it's, uh, like Joe, I think Joe is normal, yeah, so you have, like, character cards, character cards are, like, the normal cards, so you'll see at the bottom here, Joe is a character card, and character cards can combine with an object card see this card right here this is an object card object cards i think they always i don't think there's a single instance i can think of where an object card doesn't have a trait so like this one is athletic that sports one i was telling you about um and then over here this is a gun card now you can see it if you just put your finger over it you see like a little symbol come up on the on the top right corner of the card so that one okay it's called armed i don't remember the exact names but it's like a gun laser card thing, whatever. Yeah, armed cards. The armed cards are my favorite. So, yeah. Uh, so, an object card can combine with Joe here. And if you get a character card, like you want to have a balanced deck of so many character cards and so many object cards because they combine to become stronger. And these combos are as such. So, this is a gun card here. And um, when it combines with Joe, then he gets stronger and he gets all those abilities. Um, and so on and so forth. There's different, these, these are all different gun card, or armed cards, I guess I should say. And they, uh, they combine to make usually the same thing. There can be, like, different armed cards that make a different ability card. It's just kind of rare. Usually it's always the same thing. Uh, so this is a, a musical card, and it makes Joe, uh, Keyboard Joe. So, you kind of get the example. Like, Joe actually does not have that many different card types. This one, I think, is school. Actually, can't tell. But, yeah, he doesn't have that many types for some reason. So, but yeah, you see, you know, it makes different, different cards of the Joe and different abilities and so on and so forth. So, they all work that way. They all combined to become stronger, and that's how you play the game, which you'll see as I move on. Um... So that's why there's different traits and um, different types of cards, excuse me. So they fuse together, and um, this will be an example. I'll use Stan. You can level up normal cards. Um, mythic cards work completely different. They're a lot harder to level up, and I'm not even going to bother explaining that because this is like an introduction to the game and how it all works. Uh, mythic is so far off. Um, so... When, maybe I should just hang on. I'll just make it simple. I'll make it simple for you guys. I'm going to find a card that I haven't leveled up yet. Just to show you how easy all the cards are except for Mythic. They just all level up the same. Alright, right here. This is I'm going to do this for the video. Um, so this card starts off like this. Okay, 30 um, heart, which is health. 10 attack. And then the abilities, right? So... As I upgrade with the uh, the upgrade uh, token things, whatever they're called, can't even remember the name of that. Um, you can press this and then use two of it, and it becomes stronger. That's what I recommend doing. Normally, I just I hit max out, and it would level them all the way up. Which uh, what it does is it adds this, right? So it added um, uh, more health and more attack. And more of the ability effects, right? The numbers increased. And then what happens is 
you have the next evolution, a fusion, right? So I'm going to actually show you guys how that works, because I can do it with this card. And you get even more health, and eventually you max out at a level 2 fusion, I guess they call it. Um, so here's how that works. I have two of these cards, right? And so I'll max this card out, just like that, leveled it up. And then I level the other one up too, so now they're both getting leveled up, you see. And then, because they're both leveled up, I can fuse them. They just overlaid right there, and they fuse. And that's how that works. And then you can level it up again, and then I'm stuck until I get two more, fuse them together, and then when the, I have two fusions, I can fuse those two together, and then I could get to the top level. Okay, so that's how that aspect of the game works. Um, and now I'll get into the skills. Okay, um, so this skill here, I, I don't, I'm not even going to bother. I, I don't remember the names, okay? I just know what it does. So this, this skill um, is a little confusing because I think, yeah, it's this one. All right, so this one kind of looks like this one. They're similar in the way they look, but completely different in what they do, so just be mindful of that. So this first one, what it does is it'll have, like, again, these will have a number next to them. So, um, like this, the, the little punch-looking thing has an 8, right? So that's, that's how that works. With all of these, they'll have a number. So this first skill, let's say it has a number 5 next to it on the card. So it'll be this, this little whatever that thing is. And I, I, actually, I would guess that that's a, um, what's that thing called? The, the, the jackhammer. That's kind of what that looks like. It looks like a jackhammer. And it would make sense if that, that's what it is, because what it does is if it has a five next to it, and you're versing a card that has a wall, it bursts through the wall, five attack. So the wall is, a, is like, you know, a brick wall. It's literally, okay, the, the Joe card, as an example, has, let's just say he has 30 health. Well, he has 30 health to live, but if he has a wall, this brick wall up, and that brick wall says 10, then he has an additional 10 health that you have to bust through. Okay, so you can't even touch him until you overcome 10 of the wall, right? So if you, and this can happen. I actually, today I versed a Leela card, and the Leela card had 60, I think it was 63 brick wall. So if my attack isn't even close to that, which is very hard to get an attack starting that high, then you're in trouble, and you can't even damage the card. So, yeah, brick wall can be pretty good, but this one, so if you get, you know, if I was versing a Leela card, and my attack was 30, and then I had 35 of this, or something, then I could bust through and actually hit the card. So that's how that works, hopefully it makes sense. Um, next is... Uh, cripple, actually, I think that's what this is called, and there's two different kinds here. One is like a yellow, and the other one is a red. So the red one, what that does is, again, it'll have a number, so let's say it's a number 10, a number 10 cripple that's red. So the red one, um, the ability will take off, and it'll activate when it's the card's turn to attack, and um, it shoots off this cripple thing, to one card on the opponent's end. And so if your opponent has one card, and you have one card, for example, uh, the cripple thing would go directly to that card, and if the opponent's card has uh, 10 attack, and this thing cripples 10, then it takes all your opponent's attack away. And when it's their turn, they won't even be able to attack because they have no attack that turn. Um, after you know that turn goes, they get their attack back. So basically, imagine this. This red cripple activates, and it only uh, targets one card. So if your opponent has two cards, it will it's, it's where luck comes in. It'll randomly select one of those two cards, and that one card would lose 10 attack. The other one would keep it, right? So if it went back and forth, you know, then their card would get their attack back and vice versa. Whereas the yellow one here, I have that selected right there, the yellow one cripples all cards. So if your opponent has five cards, 
all of them lose 10, if, if that's the number next to it. If that's the number, it, it could be number 5, right? Or it could, it could be a 7. So let's just use 5 as an example. It says 5 next to the yellow cripple. Then every single card on your opponent's field would lose 5 attack that turn. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Uh, next we have this, uh, it's like a gas cloud. <sighs> what that does is if your opponent has, or, well, how do I explain this? can only explain one way at a time so let's say your card has this ability okay so if your card has that ability and your opponent attacks that your, your card that has that ability because they touched you it's kind of like poison if they touch you then you infect them and they get poisoned so if, if this poison rank was 10 they touch you then every single turn, they will lose 10 health. And it's vice versa. So if I attack them, they touched me. So then I poison them. But you got to think about it like this. If, if, if you have a poison on you and your opponent has a brick wall and your attack is 10 and their brick wall is 20, they won't get poisoned because the brick wall makes it so that you can't even get to them. You know, as I explained earlier. Um, next, I'm going to do both of these at the same time because we're getting into a lot of abilities coming up uh, that are basically the same as the cripple things. So you have a gold one and you have a silver one of this, okay? So again, the gold or yellow one, they work the same throughout. That means it affects all cards, whereas the silver one here is just one card. And what this, um, it's like a, <clears throat> a steel plate does is... If you play a card, um, what it, you, you, ha you have your card down, and your card has the ability of this uh, silver thing, right? It's going to shoot over a protective wall. So if, if, if this is a 5, then it'll shoot that over to the card next to it, um, moving to the right. And um, it will give it 5, like, wall. So, like, think about this wall, it's the same concept. So, if you're, if you're, this is difficult to explain. It's like you have one card down, and then you have another card next to it on the right, okay? For example. Um, but it can, it can affect the left, too. So, you have it on the, the right, for example. It will shoot from the current card that has the ability over to the right, and give it five more additional health, or wall. So... You know, if your opponent has four attack and it's shot over five steel barrier, then it's not going to touch your card. Same thing with this, only it'll it'll affect all cards. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. And then here, we'll start with the, this one at the bottom. What that does is if you if your card has this ability, it pumps it up. I think that's what it's called too, something like pump or pump it up. So what that does is your card has that ability. And when you play another card, and then on top of that card you fuse, which we, 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 well, it's not fuse, I guess that's the wrong word. It's a combo, combo card. So like I, I explained with the Joe card, how Joe is a character card, and if you have an object card and you combine it with him. So let's say you play a Joe card, and uh, the card that's already on your field has this ability. You play Joe. Well, the turn after that, you'll get to play another card. And that would be the moment when you actually uh, can play an object card on top of Joe. And it'll be a combo card. When that combo is played, your your card that was already on the field with this ability will get an effect. And this effect here, so if it says 10 on this, then when you play the Joe card, it'll get 10 additional attack permanently. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then, same thing here, this one, only, uh, you know, as you probably can guess, it's, it's got a heart, it's health. So you would get 10 health um, it, when you play a combo. Okay, so next, we have these, okay? And these two are the same as these two. Only difference is instead of putting up a barrier, it um, shoots over additional attack. So if you, and actually Joe does this. I'm going to just pull it up. Um, he doesn't do this by himself. He does it um, 
if you play a musical card on him because it's one of my one of my things I do. So you see him here. So he has uh, over keyboard Joe. Keyboard Joe has twenty, right? So that axe that's silver that's going to shoot twenty additional tack over for one turn. It doesn't stay permanently, <clears throat> but it'll select another card. Only this is important. Only to the right. It doesn't go left. Okay, it only goes right. So if you have three cards, you have a uh, whatever, you have a, a Fry or a Leela card. Let's just say you have a Leela card on your left, and then in the center is a Joe, keyboard Joe, and then a card after that. It can never go to the Leela card. It can only go to the card to the right of it, and it'll shoot over 20 additional attack for one turn. And it would do the same thing if it was gold, but it would do it for all the cards to the right. Okay, so that's how those two work. I know this is a lot of info, and <laughs> it's it's a lot, but once you start playing, it's very easy to pick up on all this. Okay, so next, this alien, uh, it's actually from Futurama, uh, pretty cool. So, that alien thing, if your card has that ability, when you attack and actually hit the card, and when you attack and connect with uh, your opponent's card, meaning like if you have... 15 attack and they have a wall that's 10 you overcame the wall if you overcome their barrier then you will um it, it's kind of like a suction effect where you hit them so you take whatever number this is so if this is a 10 on this uh suction thing then you get 10 health back for attacking them so that's how that works then you have this uh, it's a gold turd <laughs> i think it's from futurama gold or, or gold turd or, or maybe it's a family guy thing i can't i can't remember um all right whatever it is the gold turd what that does is uh both cards on both your left and your right when you have this ability let's say this ability gives you a five all right it, it, it's marked a five next to it so you would boost the attack on the left and the right of your cards. And both cards to the left and the right would get five additional attack. Um, not permanently, it's for one turn. Meaning like, again, it'll just affect, go up five. It won't every turn go up five, you know, just one time. Um, and the bomb is similar, but with attack. So if you have the bomb ability and you attack, what that'll do is... You're attacking one card above you, because that's how the game works. Probably should have explained that earlier. Uh, you attack the one card only above you, so you hit that card for whatever attack you have, and then the bomb takes effect, so if the bomb says 10 on its ability, then you'll do 10 damage to either card on either side of, of your opponent's cards. And that, again, that'll make more sense once you see it in action. Uh, next, the monkey. The monkey gives you attack every turn. It keeps building up. So if the monkey is 10 and has a 10 next to it, then when you attack and connect with your opponent, similar to the, the leech and, and getting health back, when you connect with your opponent, you will gain 10 health. Or I'm sorry, 10 health. You will gain 10 attack every single turn. So you attack, you connect with an opponent's card, successful attack goes through, then you gain 10 attack, and that keeps building and building and building, and that's a very important card to use. Similarly, this robot arm here, I'll leave it highlighted, the robot arm takes attack. So if you are if you have the monkey card, and the monkey card gives you 10 attack, and then the robot arm, your opponent has that on their card as an ability, you'll hit them, damage them, and then your monkey card will ability will take effect. It'll say, okay, I'm going to give the card 10 more attack because I made a successful attack. Well, instead of you getting it, the robot arm swings down and takes that whatever whatever number it is. So if the robot arm is an 8 and the monkey is a 10, then you gain 10 attack. The robot, ar robot arm comes down and can only take 8 of that attack that turn. Okay, so then you'll still gain 2. And that's, that's how that one works. <clears throat> Okay, so next, we're almost done here, uh, it is like, man, I wish I remember the names. This is similar to, it's like a fence, 
Think of it like a fence, and it's similar to uh, the brick wall, okay? So the fence, if your card has that, let's say you have three cards, okay? Three cards in a row, and the card that's in the center is where you want to have whatever card that has this fence ability. Because what that does is if it says five on it, okay, <clears throat> it'll put up a fence literally over top of the adjacent cards on the right and the left side of it. So it literally gives a wall on either either card on either side of it for whatever number it has. So if your opponent attacks you, <clears throat> you'll have five more uh, health, as I've explained with all the other stuff, basically. <clears throat> Um, it took me a while to figure this one out, this paper airplane. So, uh, basically what this does, and you don't see this very often, but what it does is, if your opponent has this, um, in fact, I've pretty much only seen this skill on, like, the characters themselves, it'll shoot the paper airplane over to a card, and that card for one turn will gain, I think it's one turn, it'll gain, um, a new effect, like a new skill, and one of these random skills here, okay, and then, um, the pizza, the pizza is, so if the pizza says 10, for example, um, and your card that you're about to play down has 60 health, well, if your opponent has, let's say, uh, they have one card, it goes for however many of the cards they have, so if it has, if they have one card, and your pizza is a 10, then when you play that card down, you'll get an additional 10 health. So you'll go from 60 to 70. If they have two cards, then that's 2 times 10. So it'll be 20. Alright, so then you'd have 20 cards. So 10 and 10, 20, and then 20 health. I say 20 cards. Yeah, so it would be 20 health. So um, for each card. So if they have three cards... You know, and that's a 10 pizza. You play your card down, you get an additional 30 health um, on that card. You go from 60 health originally to having an additional 30, then you have 90. So it's a really powerful ability. Um, this, I, I don't it's kind of strange because of the way it is, but it's like, basically it's the same thing as a wall. So I don't really understand why they have two of these, um, but basically it just puts up a barrier around your card. Uh, just like a wall does, so I don't really, I don't know why there's two of them. Um, and then this here, um, which I don't, I don't know the name of, but it's like, I think it's supposed to be a canister with acid or something. It gets thrown just like a punch does, and I'm going to explain this and the punch at the same time. So, they're basically exactly the same thing. What they do is if your character card, and it has this ability, and it says 10, then... When it's its turn to attack, the abilities go off, and it will shoot at one of your opponent's cards at random. It could be with the one right above it, it could be the one two cards over. It'll shoot it, and it'll damage them at, if it says 10, then it'll damage and take down 10 of their health. Um, but it's sort of strange because, again, they have two different things, and the punch does the same thing. You know, but, so they both do exactly the same thing, they're just different things. Um... And then the Nibbler here, Nibbler, basically, if your card has the Nibbler on it, and your opponent attacks, and Nibbler has a 10, um, Nibbler bites back. So when your opponent lands the attack, if your card survives, then Nibbler will bite them back and do 10 damage to them. So, yeah, that covers all of the different abilities there, which now I'm going to show you, um, most of which that you will be able to see them in action and again how the game works i know that took a long time to explain everything um but now i'm just going to briefly show you how the game works and then in the next video i will get into all the other aspects of the game in more detail so um yeah i guess i'll just briefly say this is simple stuff but the top right corner you you get like a uh, it's like a compass and that's how many stamina you have to use for this this mode here um, so that you can go in and uh, you know try to get golden turds and all this other stuff which I'll explain in the next video um, all that all that other stuff I'll explain uh, the TV thing 
uh, basically I pay monthly, most people do. If you don't want to pay monthly, then you'll watch ads and you'll want to do what you want to watch three ads that they'll last for like a day or something, however many hours it lasts, and it'll give you these bonus effects. I just pay monthly, which is $10 a month, and you get, you know, the bonuses that you get. It's like nothing. $10 is, it's well worth it for this game. So, um, yeah, we're going to come in here. We're going to battle. And so they always have at different times, they'll do it for like a week or so, and they'll change out effects. So the first thing you're going to notice is at the top in the center, there's a toy effect. Okay, if you click on it, it says what happens. So for all the cards I'm using that are toys, like toy objects, and when I combine it into a character card, it becomes a toy card, then it'll gain this. So all toys cards are cheered. For, so cheered meaning that little axe, right? It, it would be like the little gold axe. Actually, the uh, Steve card here has the silver axe, that thing. So all cards are cheered for 50% of their base attack. So what that means is like if I played a Stewie card and he had, he had a toy on him and he had 11 attack, well we'll just say a 10 because that's easier. If he had a 10, then he would get 5 more attack. So I, I don't worry about you know, well, I do, but at the same time, I don't, because it depends. Toy cards are decent. I, I like them. They, they're okay, but my deck doesn't have any toy cards in it, just because. It, it's just not, it's not what I use um, as my main deck. This is my main deck. It's my most powerful deck, and unless the bonus thing at the top here is something that I, I, I'm comfortable switching decks to do, I'm not going to do it, just because it's not worth it for me. Um, so yeah, here we go. So we'll start, oh, and, uh, the characters here. So, like, Steve, he has abilities, and I don't even watch King of the Hill, so I don't know the name of this guy. Sorry to all the King of the Hill fans. I haven't really seen the show much. So this guy here that I'm playing as, um, he has abilities too. So I have, uh, 80 health, 86 health to start with, and he has 60, right? Well, those are the health values, and then we have abilities. So this guy has punch so every single turn of mine um, I will punch and shoot a punch off and damage one of his cards f for four damage and if he happens to attack me directly then he'll get bit and lose five his card will lose five health same thing this guy has the nibbler payback effect and he has cheer so it'll shoot over um, there's one other thing I didn't explain because I couldn't until we got to this point but I'll bring up this card because it has it so, all the abilities are the same, but some cards, and this is where it gets complicated, some cards have a little symbol next to them. So look at my shield. The shield here, for 7, that has a little star next to it. Okay, so the star, what that means is it can only work, and that effect only applies for other cards that are armed type cards. They have to be the gun armed type otherwise it won't apply i really don't like that um it's just i don't i don't like that they put that in there but it is what it is and you'll see other cards that will have um like see this card the the hamburger the health has it too but i don't have a card in my hand to show you guys yet but there's another one instead of a, a four point star it could be like a little, I don't know how to describe it, but it, it looks similar. It's just instead of a gold color, it'll be silver. And what that one does is it'll only activate that effect and boost towards character cards or other cards that are of the same show. So if Stewie had it on his card that's a, a shield, then I would only get the shield effect for other Family Guy cards. So hopefully that makes sense. I know there's a lot of explaining. We're finally going to get into the gameplay here. So, um, I'm going to slow things down. I have it on the fastest speed, so you guys couldn't even really tell what happened. So, I play on times 4. I think everybody who knows this game plays on times 4 because it goes really slow. So, um, I'm not... I mean, I could combine, but I don't know if I should. Yeah, I guess I will. Alright, so I'll show you. Uh, basically, every card in my hand except for that Stewie at the end is a object card. So, this is a medical one. So if I did it, you can hold down on the card, and just so you can remember what it does, you can go like this. And you'll be like, oh, this makes contact high Stewie, and he'll get, when I play it, he'll get 22 punch, 
24 leech and 18 of the arm steel. So I don't want to use that in this example because it's not the best one I have. I know what my cards make. So this one here would make an even better card. In this case, I would get laser gun Stewie if I if I combined, and he would get 17 punch effect, 19 of the gas, and the one in the center is that one that destroys walls for 22. So I'm not going to do that card either. Um, I'm getting down to it. This film scissors is what I'm going to do in this uh, example. This one here is also an armed card, but you can see it, ma it makes different types of Stewie cards. Santa Stewie. This one, I'd get uh, the monkey, which is 11 attack each turn, so that's good. And then the cheer for all the cards to the right, which would be every card because this is the first card, for 8. So that would be really good to do. Um, but actually what I'm going to do is this, because this one's the best, uh, in my opinion, right, for what I have. So this gives me, uh, it's, it's knife fight Stewie, and this gives me uh, 15 additional attack every turn for attacking the card as I explained earlier, and then if he gains attack, I would take 11 of that, so that's iffy in this case, but the cripple for 20, so now you'll get to see it in action. The cards combined, usually much faster, but I put it on slow so you can see it'll happen. My character shot 20 times, then it cripples for 20. It's still going kind of fast, and then the monkey takes effect, and I gained the attack. So it's a good thing I have it on slow here. <clears throat> so he just made a uh, toy card, so the toy effects are activating. That's what's going on there. <clears throat> and then his his uh, Steve cheered on that card, because that's one of his effects. And when he got cheered on, I took that uh, attack, and I got it because I had the arm thing, which you saw hopefully take effect. Um, I know it happens pretty fast. Um, so... This is my most powerful card, is the Zap Brannigan. Um, he has the pizza, so watch that closely. For, it's pizza for nine. So I start with 61 health, and I have a pizza, and he has one card. So when I play this card, watch what happens. He has one card, so I get plus nine. Now I have 70 health. My punch goes off, then Stewie takes effect and took down his, uh, his card, but it also lowered his attack by 20 because that's a red cripple, so it would work on one card. And because it's first turn I played Zap Brannigan, he's not going to be able to do anything that turn. He starts next turn in like being able to be used and attack, and, and attack or not. So um, the other ability here for Zap is he has the bomb for six. So if my opponent had a card right above, um, and I attack that card, I would damage the adjacent cards, as I said before. So my, my Zap is my most powerful card for a couple of reasons. Um, mainly because every single armed card transforms him into this, which is ridiculously good. <laughs> 29 punch, and uh, in this case it's 29 punch, and 15 um, attack gain. So, you know, it's game over real fast here. You see what's going on? I landed uh, the attack, his nibbler took effect, and because my attack was successful, I gained 15 attack. So, as I explained earlier... Um, the game will make sense. Um, I recommend playing it on the slow until you understand all the effects. I know I've explained them, but yeah. Um, so I guess I'll do a Bobby card. It's going to be over, so you know, you'll see all the effects go off. He's going to be dead, and then that's it. So, yeah, that's how it works. Um, and then you get all this stuff, which... Um, I will explain in the next video, but basically, yeah, um, you get battle rewards, and they're used for various things. I'm going to go over in the next video, because this video is extremely long. So I'll see you all in the next video, and like I said, there's tons more to go over. How to get cards, um, special events, just all the other aspects of this game, which are super awesome. So definitely um, click the link and go over to part two. <laughs>